Welcome to Relocating to Disney. Well, everybody says, hey, I want a pool and I want a lanai cage, sometimes called a uh, screened-in lanai or a bird cage sometimes. But they don't realize always what amount of maintenance and work is required on one of these things. So if you look right here, you can see this is a black frame, but there's green algae growing on it. And if I could angle this just right, Let's see, it's kind of tough to see, but uh, right here, if you look at it at an angle, you can see that right on the screen itself, there's some algae growing on there. So you've got to keep this stuff uh, clean. And there's a bunch of different ways you can do it, vinegar and water. But what we're going to be doing today is hitting it with a uh, power hose, a power washer. And there's a couple of different steps involved. First step is you want to make sure all the vegetation that's involved behind here is watered down. So you want to keep that nice and wet. Second is we're going to spray this using a foam. We're going to spray this foaming it up with some uh, detergent. Now you can use water and vinegar spray on there, but this is um, some some crud. Uh, that's what they. That's the name of the product that I'm going to be spraying on it. Whatever you use, if you've got a pool, you want to make sure that either it doesn't wash into the pool or it's safe for your pool. Otherwise, you could mess up the chemical balance of your pool. So you don't want to get too aggressive here when you're spraying down the screen. So that's why I'm going to use the white attachment. Now this is 40% uh, uh, spray and that should be light enough on the screen. You don't want to get too, too much on, too much more than that. So now that it's all sprayed, we're gonna lightly brush it. And you wanna be careful brushing this because these screens are pretty delicate. They're not gonna take a lot of abuse before you rip or tear them or make them come off. Next thing we're going to do is rinse the screens off. The last step is then we're going to rinse off all the vegetation that's behind there, making sure that all any chemicals got off of that uh, vegetation. If you keep up on cleaning the screens, one time through should clean them all up nice. But if you haven't done it in a while, 
it may take two or three applications in order to get them really clean. And you can see here, it's probably gonna take another application or two to get this all cleaned up perfectly. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.